Hello, I'm Shannon Walker, a preservationist and beekeeper here at Blackberry Farm. And today I'm going to show you how to do uh, an Appalachian classic. Uh, we're going to make some pinto beans with some skillet fried cornbread, braised pork shanks, and chow chow. I have a couple of uh, two inch cuts out of the pork shank here that we're just going to season with some salt and pepper. Uh, we'll braise them with a little white wine. And our aromatics will be some fresh thyme sprigs and garlic. Season some salt. Pepper. I'm going to cut the garlic in half across the hemisphere. Just going to add a nice tablespoon of some garlic fat. Alright, so we have a nice uh, hot smoking Dutch oven here, and so I'm going to sear the sides of the shanks. Right, we've got nice color on one side, and we'll flip and do the same on the other side. Alright, now that both sides are seared, I'm going to deglaze the pan and add our braising liquid, which we're going to use white wine today. Now I want enough liquid to come to the top of the shanks, but not cover them. And now we can add our aromatics. We'll bring this up to a gentle boil and burn off some of the alcohol. So now we've boiled off uh, the alcohol in this uh, liquid, so I'm just going to kill the heat and cover it. And we'll cook this in a 300 degree oven for about two and a half hours. Uh, you can see the liquid's reduced down and our shanks are falling off the bone and just really, really tender. And so this is what we're looking for. So now we're going to cook the pinto beans. and. So I have some dried pinto beans and I have some Bitten's bacon. Transfer them to a gallon size container. So after a couple hours in the water, uh, we've drained the water off and then rinsed the beans really well. We've got them in the pot here and now I'm just going to add enough water to cover them by about three inches. And then of course we'll need to add our Bitten's bacon at this point, a big nice piece. And then we'll bring this to a boil. Uh, once it comes to a boil, we'll reduce it to a simmer and it'll cook for about an hour and a half. Alright, so next we're going to make some skillet fried cornbread. And for that, I'm going to use a cup of our Blackberry Farm cornbread mix. We'll need one egg, and these are fresh from this morning. I'm going to beat the egg well. Add that to our cornbread mix. Next, I want to incorporate the egg into the dry mix. All right, next we'll add some buttermilk, uh, about two thirds of a cup, three quarters of a cup, depending on your buttermilk. And so basically what I'm looking for is a certain consistency with this batter. All right, so basically what I want to be able to do is take it in a spoon like this and turn it out so that it all comes out in one dollop. And I'm going to add some bacon fat once again, you can just, just want to coat the, the skillet. So I'm just going to drop these in by the spoonful. All right, so after about a minute, you'll notice some browning on the edge of your corn cakes. And you can just give them a flip at that point. So this is my dressed up version of an Appalachian classic, uh, pinto beans with skillet fried cornbread, braised pork shanks, and chow chow.